ladies and gentlemen it's your host will the collector back here with another video review i got something special today for you boys and girls it's kind of going to be a bit of a dual review and it'll make sense here in a second but to continue with the last couple of reviews that i've done i am going to be bringing you the target exclusive gi joe classified cobra island baroness with cobra coil motorcycle oh my lord have people gone crazy for this one as they should it's a good looking package it's a good looking figure i mean it's the baroness who's not gonna want the baroness when it comes to the gi joe i don't know i mean you know some people could not like her think she's a little bit stuck up you know whatever i don't know uh, i'm gonna want her she looks great uh got a little bit of her own artwork right there yeah, zoom in on some of that Again, bear with me. This is like video review number four. I'm still learning as I go. I just like talking about toys, truthfully. I just like to turn on a camera and just walk around the figure room and talk toys. And of course, then start to ramble, as people tell me. Anyways, there's, a, I guess, the, the file card. If you've got the app and you want to look up that. I don't like this. I like, again, I can't say for, for why they went with this. Uh, they made an app for it and they're like, okay, we'll tie it to that. Um, I like file cards. I like bios. I mean, that's that's just me. I mean, again, we got bios all the time. They stopped doing bios a long time ago. Anyways, uh, he's gonna she's gonna be figure number thirteen in this wave. More art on the sides. I try not to knock down stand back there. Oh, Baroness, very very attractive lady. Oh my gosh, more Cobra Island stuff. Again, if this ties in the video game, I'm probably gonna have to hold on to the last couple of these packages just because. Uh, that might tie in there. I don't know, or this is what they could have just chose to be. Uh, this to me, this is boring. I mean, this what was this supposed to tell me? Yeah, it's Cobra Island, but I'm not getting this as a playset. You know, uh, again, that's just me. Anyway, what makes this one special is for the comparison. Oh no, somebody fell. Off. I've also got the GI Joe Walmart exclusive three and three quarter Baroness. Uh, I believe this is going to be the retro wave. Uh, which everybody's upset about. Everybody's upset about because they wanted the the very original Joes. They wanted the the rubber O-ring Joes. I get it. I'm sorry, guys. I like this. I like. Uh, I mean, I like updates. I like newer stuff. I like better paint apps. Um, and I did not get this figure originally when she was first released because I couldn't find one where the glasses looked that good. I believe she was also in a two pack with Lady J and. Any Lady J, just her face looks so muddled. Anyways, I'm going to pause the video and get these ladies out of these plastic prisons. And we're back, folks. All right, look at these lovely ladies all out of their packages. All right. Man, that is a stunning-looking baroness right there. All in vinyl, leather, God, I don't know what it is, armored look. You know, again, testing out articulation as I go. Oh, my gosh. The second, yeah, second female figure of the G.I. Joe classified wave. First being Scarlet. Oh, she got up and down. Trigger hands. That's good. That single jointed elbow with a swivel. Not bad. Well, it's got some... Snake armor over here that's different than the one over here. Got some butterfly shoulders. It's all, it's all one upper piece right here. It's looking like it. A bit of a, a bit of a torso twist up there, right? As I move the belt, I'm trying to get that stuff out of the way. Not much, or my range is limited. She's got that double ball of neck up there. I'm gonna see if that's as straight as I can. Look at that hair, though. Very nice. Got some pouches. Oh, that's going to be for the guns. Thigh swivels. Double knees. Nice. Ankle joints. Ankle rocker. She looks good. She looks good. I mean, no thrills. She's got a little bit of black, a little bit of gray. Nice red on the Cobra symbols, as it should be. Let's see, mine. Uh, let's see, mine's a little, 
Uh, not too bad. Nothing, nothing too bled over or anything like that. Looks good. I mean, w when you compare, I mean, here's the... I guess this was uh, the 25th anniversary release. Uh, it might have been closer to the 30th release when they did those two packs, as I remember correctly. I think they were Toys R Us exclusive waves. But, you know, there to there. That's, I mean, you can see. Definitely. If it, I mean, if it's not anything, it's an homage. You know, yes, she's got some... Uh, differences just because she's in a different scale and the sculpts can look better it's also you know i mean crap only you know almost 10 years after the fact is when you know this com came out compared to when this came out you know i want to say 10 years i hope it's 10 years i didn't look at that before i before i started doing this okay let's see what her accessories are she comes with two golden guns these look like dukes beach heads let's look Yeah. Yep. Same thing. Which is fine. I mean, I don't. I don't mind. I mean, I you know, uh, so many different accessories. Um, yeah, I like differences. There are differences in her two other weapons. So if they all have the same pistol, I don't care. Uh, that doesn't bother me that much. If if you don't, if you're not a big fan of that, um, there's plenty other. Um, you just go on eBay. You know, one twelfth scale guns, and you'll be able to find something. You know, if if that's not your, not your. Oh, oh. about that elbow articulation. She has fists back there. Oh, like Nicolas Cage out of Face Off. Got the two. Remember that? You have those two. Oh, was it forty fives? He had two forty fives that he had. Tucked behind him. Very good movie. I love that movie. Anyways, on to her. Now, me pulling this out of the package when I saw this, I was like, what in the flag nog is that? But it is a very, very nice Cobra dagger. Man, that is not coming across that great. Oh, wow. Man, I should have been hitting that button when I was looking at close-up shots of Beachhead's head. Yep, you see, that's a nice sculpt on her. Okay, okay, I'll mess with that. I'll mess with that. Hey, like I said, review number, like, four. You know, I'm working on it. I apologize. I'll get better for you. But that is a very nice Cobra Dagger. And that's going to go right there or the other way. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be facing forward. There we are. You know, not too bad. Not too bad. I can dig it. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to wrap around her arm? Is that a torture device? What is that? Looks like it's got a hypodermic needle sticking out the front. What are we doing? Are we torturing people? Most well, Baroness. I'm pretty sure she's intelligence. She's going to try and get some... That's wicked. I mean, that is just wicked looking. So, oh. I'm going to knock my camera over. Let's see. Yep. I'd say that's how she's going to get info out of somebody. Yeah. Come here, Duke. I always thought there was a lot of things. Right? Psh, uh, and there you go. That's interesting. I don't know if uh, that'll ha I'll have that on the display shelf. I don't know. And then she comes with these two rifles. These feel a little differently than the other ones. These feel more hard, plasticky, smooth. Uh, muted detail, I want to say. Not bad. They got the, the pegs on there, which... You know, again, I'll, let's see. Her hands are... Kind of put that in, roll that around. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Oh, detents that elbow. Nice. You know. Gonna kind of... Oh, yeah, that's not bad at all, I don't think. She's like, hey, buddy, I'm going to blow you away for, you know, if you don't do what I ask. Let's see, let's put this. Another one in there. There we go. Oh, crap, don't bend that thumb back too much. If this was an older Joe, I'd be just terrified. And, of course, I say this right now, 
as I put pressure against the thumb, you know, I, I've broken, I broke many, well, not many, probably about four or five, uh, GI Joe, uh, 80s figures, thumbs off, <laughs> put no weapon in there. That was unfortunate. Yeah, but we, we broke O-rings, we broke thumbs, you know, um, they, I mean, a lot of that stuff, I mean, it was built very well back then, but I mean, you know, I think they'd have to make these things a little bit softer. She's like, what's up? I got two guns. Turn, I got two guns for you. Anyway. Um, so these, I'm going to take them out and because it looks like they can go on the Cobra coil here. I'm betting one's going on there. And one's going on here. Oh, little assembly required. Got to put the, uh... Oh, crap, stuff's dropping. Trying to keep these videos a little short and sweet. A motorcycle riding pose. It looks like, because she also comes with a helmet, very minimal, no, I mean, no paint apps. I mean, we got a glossy face shield, but other than that, everything else is dull. So that's not bad. There's, uh, I mean, the Viper detail in this thing looks pretty neat. I wish that, oh, why am I dropping everything today? Good Lord. Um, looks pretty neat. Man, I wish they would have done this. I'm not a custom guy. There, there's so many people that do custom work. Um, you know, again, I brought in some Mythic Legions um, that just screams customization. Um and there are so many good customizers with those lines. It is ridiculous. Nope. But there it is. There's the helmet. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a. I'm not a woman. I don't have a lot of hair. Where'd the hair go? Well, here's the hair. Like, are you really going to stuff all that hair up into that helmet? I don't know. I'm talking about the plausibility of, you know, an evil terrorist, terrorist organization bent on... You know, ruling the world. I'm asking where the hair goes. I'm just talking about, you know, a little bit, little bit of reality here, people. Anyways. Uh, and that's what she's going to look like. I'm not going to have her on this coil cycle. I don't know who I'm going to give it to. But more than likely, she's going to be standing next to her main man, Destro, over there on the shelf. Looking at Duke. I don't know. I'm, I'm that type of guy that'll put a subtle nod into the... You know, into it. This coil cycle makes me think of the uh, the GI Joe Sigma Six line. If any, you know, anybody had had that or collect that, I had two of those cycles. I'd gotten rid of them a while ago. You know, it was a good line. I, I liked it. I, I thought it was just different enough. Um, but anyways, we're not talking about those. We're talking about a six inch and a three and three quarter inch line. Anyways, yeah. I mean, you know, she's gonna fit good on the cycle. Not too crazy with it. I'm going to put the other head back on. Well, that head comes off and on easy. Well, at least you got a kind of a vipery helmet to go with it. Whew, I tell you, as much as you pop a head off and on a figure, it still kind of goes like, oh my gosh. Oh man, don't break on me. There we go. And here's our three and three quarter one. It's going to move her off to the side. And as she's moved off to the side, I'm going to put some other figures with her. There she is with Scarlet. You know. Not too bad. Let's see. I'm going to do this real quick. See, there we go. Maybe a little bit of that. There we go. It's not bad. They're pretty good next to each other. And for funsies... Bring in Black Widow. Another good female figure. And oh, one of my more favorite female figures, Storm. Because I'm a sucker for 90s X Men. And she was just a very well done figure. Hopefully, it's not too clouded. There's some strong ladies there for you. It's very strong. Again, okay, all right. All done by Hasbro. You know, like Hasbro's done everything perfect. 
even though lately they have been on fire. Let's bring in some Mattel representation. Evil in. Wow. <laughs> Got some yellow skin going on there. And a DC collectibles. Catwoman, you know, a couple of bad ladies, you know, again, you're probably not going to put them next to each other on the shelf, uh, unless these are your only, you know, favorite female characters, and, you know, again, display how you want, um, you know, it's your collection, do with as you please, and real quickly... Messed up couple. Oh my gosh. He didn't push her. Of the century. There she is with Destro. Again, that looks awesome. I mean, that looks awesome. All right, let's set them off here. Bring in my three and three quarter. But she comes with like I guess her little carry case with uh now this I remember you um I think with the uh, G.I. Joe movie line, uh you're able to put those um nano bot warheads into here. Well her uh I'm gonna put her MP5 in there. Let's see. Oh so she comes with that case. Uh, is that an MP5? Yeah, that's an MP5. If I don't know all my weapons, I apologize. A little, little blaster she comes with. There's another little blaster. And then a, uh, just an assault rifle. Now, unfortunately, she has no peg holes, which these little guns all come with little peg holes to at least probably put in her thighs. So, I don't know. I'll probably have her with her rifle here. She's mowing, trying to mow at some Joes. If it fits well enough. Ah! Get back in there. She has a trigger finger. I'm trying to get her to get that front magazine. Or, you know what, I might just have her hold the front of it like that. Dang it. Well, I'm trying to cut this down for time. Because I know my first video was like 30 minutes. Thanks for all who watched. Oh my gosh, what is that snagging on? Anyways, you hold it like that. There you go. Let's see. How many weapons can I throw in this case? Because if not, y'all are just going to go in a storage bin. Let's see, I get one. There we go. It's good. All right. And real quick, I don't think it's going to be a thing because people are going to tell me, hey, stop making it a thing. But, to the file cards. And, oh, there we go. There's the Baroness. Baroness is Cobra Intelligence Officer. Primary Military Specialty. Intelligence. Secondary Military Specialty. Fixed Wing Pilot. Interesting. Okay, birthplace, classified. What was she? Was she Russian? I don't know if she was like, maybe Ukrainian? I can't remember. Anyways. The spoiled offspring of a wealthy European aristocrat. Okay, so she's European. I thought she was more like Russian, but whatever. The Baroness graduated from, the, from student radicalism into international sabotage and finally into the ranks of Cobra. Well, that kind of sounds for today. Uh, she was severely burned during a Cobra night attack operation and has had extensive plastic surgery. 
Rumor has it that she is the only one who knows the true identity of <gasps> Destro. Okay. Qualified expert in M16, AK-47, RPG-7, Uzi, his tank operator. Her principal weakness in is in the division of her loyalty between Cobra Commander and Destro. Her chief strength has or her chief strength would seem to lie in her ability to play them against each other. Well, I always remember, you know, the cartoon. And here's the other thing I want to show. Here's another comparison. Okay, so here's an old file card that I got from, you know, 25th, 30th anniversary figures. And and here's the new one. The new one, yes, multiple languages, you know, you, but you still have the primary thing. Cobra Intelligence Officer, Intelligence, Fixed Wing Pilot, Birthplace Classified. Graduated from student radicalism into international sabotage and ranks of Cobra. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't tell me nothing. This tells me something. This doesn't tell me anything. Anyway, uh, something's better than nothing. Anyway, that's it for today, or at least for the Baroness. Uh, again, be kind to one another. Collect what you want to collect, but mainly enjoy your collection. Uh, I have been your host, Will the Collector, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.